Hello, good morning and welcome from Dungannon for this national NIBFA under 13 fixture between between Dungannon United Youth and Korean kick off almost upon us now the perfect opportunity to run through the team lineups for Dungannon Youth we have Connor Gary number one number two Luke McCubrey number three Estefano Conceição number four Daniel McCarran number five Oshin Ward number eight and captain Josh Walker number nine Dylan McCune number ten Michael McElvini Number 11, Patrick McAshea. Number 15, Lorcan Small. Number 19, Braden McNally. And the subs for Dungannon. Number 6, Thomas Kelly. Number 7, Alfie Jones. And number 12, Tag Feeney. Now the perfect opportunity to have a look at the Coleraine lineup as kickoff is almost upon us for Coleraine this morning. Coleraine wearing the red. Number 1, Tommy Bustard. Number two, Carter McGuire. Number three, George McLean. Number five, Noah Corkish. Number six, Jay Small. Number seven, Ronan Moffat. Number nine, Caitlin Walker. Number 10, Oren Devine. Number 11, Oscar Spence. Number 16, Ollie McAvoy. And number 18, Connor Wilson. And the subs for Cole Rayan. Number eight, Luca Kearney. And number 12, Alfie McClay. So, as you can see, we're almost ready for kickoff. Dungannon, they're playing this fixture at home, so it's a handy game for Dungannon in terms of travel. Not too far for those lads to travel. Dungannon wearing the yellow and the blue trim. Both sets of players going through their pre-match routines. And this certainly looks a great game on paper. Both these sides sit top of the table at this under 13 level. Both sides have won all five games. So on paper, this should be a very tight affair. Of course, time will tell. As we see the camera zooming out with the town of Dungannon in the background. And there we have the visiting side from the northwest of Northern Ireland. Coleraine. Coleraine wearing their... Red shirts this morning, of course, Korean, nicknamed the Bansiders. So he just waits for the female referee to get us going this morning. The sun is shining, conditions are perfect, and we're underway. So early touch of the ball for Dungannon. Good, Jay. Corinne, attack. Corinne, come forward. Well done, George. Both sets of players just trying to get the ball Good to Oscar. ground. Good, Oscar. Daniel McAvaney tries to attack down the near side and then just runs out of space. Oscar, Oscar, back up, give him an option in the line. Hold, hold, hold. Looking to string something together. Keelan Walker makes the pass towards Noah Corkish. Corkish back with the ball at his feet. Here is Noah Corkish. Gives the ball in field. It's been a bright start so far for the Bansiders. The shot comes in. And you can hear the Korean coach there saying unlucky on that occasion, but Korean. I know we're in the early stages of this one. It's been the visiting side who have enjoyed possession of the football. Korean's number two, Carter. McGuire forced to go back towards his goalkeeper, Tommy Bustard. Well done, lads. Come on, Killen. Touch of the ball. Here come Cole Rain again as they look 
to try and build something down the far side of the pitch. No demand it there. No, you've got acres. Keelan, Keelan, lots of one touches there, but they got to find me. Take a second if you need it. Ready to secure the hole. Come on. Ready to push. So a goal kick for Dungannon. They take the kick short. Dungannon gives it towards his left back as Dungannon try and work something up the far side of the pitch and the throw in will go the way of Cole Rain. Cole Rain wearing all red today this morning. Throw in is taken. No, Probably wide. fair to expect goals this morning. Korea, their last match, they defeated Balamoni United by four goals to one. That's somewhat of a local derby. George McLean plays the ball into the edge of the box no, here. Come Korea, Oscar Spence what? tries to cross. Korea win the first corner of the game. So a corner kick the far yeah. side of the pitch. Perfect. Here comes a set piece delivery. And Dungannon's number eight, Josh Walker, Walker, their captain, leads by example, clears the ball. Good corner. No points! Only corner, no points! You are ready! Dungannon's goalkeeper, Connor Gary, got good distance on his kick out. Lovely Tommy there. Good lad, Noah. Ball will break the way of Coleraine, though, as our number 11, Oscar Spence, plays the ball to the right winger. Dungannon come forward now, the first time Dungannon have really had the ball in the Coleraine half. Just as I say that though, Coleraine get the clearance in, Dungannon back with the ball at the feet. Well done Oscar! Well done Oscar! Here's Michael McElveney, plays the ball down the line. Relax, Tommy! Get their ship, get their ship! Don't let them out, don't let them out! Oren, Oren, Oren! Ah, oh, Oren, come on! Oren, there's not, no, nobody near you, 20 yards! Get back in his front! Get back in his front! We're walking! Oscar, tuck in! Tuck in! Oren, Oren, have a look round. We've got a scan. You're 20 yards there. So, Duncanon Youth, under 13s with a, a throw in far side of the pitch. Throw in taken up the line as both teams try and get the ball to ground in the early stages of this game. That's a lovely dummy. Duncanon attacking. Coming forward, is there a final ball? Good defending from Coleraine's number two, Carter Maguire. Defending from Dungannon's number four, Daniel McCarran. Took no chances, done the safe thing. Put the ball out for a throw in. Get at him, Connor! No one demand it! Connor Wilson plays the ball forward, but Dungannon. Good skill from their captain there, Josh Walker. Ball over the top. Support him, Noah! Come on, Connor. Shot comes in. And 
Shot came in there from Connor Wilson. Didn't quite time his effort that time. And a simple enough save for Connor Gary, the well goalkeeper. As mentioned before kick off, these are two form sides in terms of the league. Both teams have won. There are five matches as a long range shot comes in, which won't really trouble the goalkeeper. Korean goalkeeper Tom Bustard too much. Yes, both these sides have played five games in the league and they've both won five games. For anyone just joining us, you're very welcome. I'm your match day commentator, Johnny Martin, and just a quick reminder of the colours the teams are wearing. Gary are wearing the yellow and blue, and Coleraine wearing the old red this morning. No turn, Oscar! Well done, Mega. Hey, hey. Well done, Mega. Excellent kid. Oscar, well done, stand off your man, Oscar. 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 Stand off so set piece for Duncan. Good opportunity to swing the ball into the box. As you can hear both coaches expressing their views to their players. Referee not happy with where the free kick is going to be taken. Oscar, Oscar, drop him, drop him. We don't need man the wall. Mega run, mega run, mega run. Here comes a free kick played in towards the edge of the box. Shot comes in. Decent strike there from Bradley McAnally, but again the goal, the Korean goalkeeper, Tom Bustard, makes a smart save. Both sets of players really battling for the ball in the midfield area. Corian trying to come forward with the ball, but it's just so congested in the middle of the pitch. Well done, George. Oscar, Oscar, some good positioning. I don't hear you asking for the ball. There's loads of space to his left side. One out. Car, take it in the air. Keep her relaxed. Relax, relax. Corey, relax the ball. Oh, that's two ways. 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 Two Fansiders will have to settle for a throw in. Throw in is taken down the line. Why are you just end up with Keelan. another touch of the ball for the home goalkeeper. Yes, push, push Noah, push Noah. No, that's your ball. So roughly just over ten minutes played in this one. If you're just joining us. Still, Gannon nil, Corian nil. Jay Small takes a throw down the line. Connor Wilson gives chase, but credit to Gannon's defence, they just make the clearance. Coley will go back towards their goalkeeper. Like 12, 13 minutes gone in this one. We're still yet to see the first real goal scoring opportunity. It's been a very tight and competitive game so far. Here come Coleraine on the attack. 
Keelan Walker. Keelan Walker should get the ball again. So Coleraine with the corner and Keelan Walker decides to leave the corner kick for a teammate. Here comes the corner. Played into the box. Lovely ball. Chance for a shot here, but well, well credit must be given to Coleraine's number two, Carter Maguire. Strong defending. He didn't look favourite at one stage, and he got back, and he did very well to make the clearance there from a Coleraine point of view. So throw in for Dungannon. Near side of the pitch as the sun is out this morning in Dungannon. Beautiful conditions for a game of football. Good play this from Dungannon. They give the ball out towards the left. Oscar, Oscar, we don't play a dangerous ball in there. Let's see our lines here. Keelan, more noise, Keelan. Get it, put Noah, put in. Great kick it, Tommy. That's a great challenge. Offside. Claims for offside. Play continues, but the referee making his decision. As mentioned, both these teams currently sitting top of the table, first and second, in this under 13 age group in the regionalised format. Both these teams well clear a third place of the third place side. So no surprise really in the opening half that this game has been very tight and competitive, but still very enjoyable to watch. Get across, Noah. Carter, Tom get Bustard, it's not about kicking it long. Bustard back in possession of the football. Does play it long this time as he plays the ball into midfield and he finds his teammate, Connor Wilson. Better, well done, lad. Killing. give me another 10%, come on. Korean play the ball into the box, but they yeah, just in, roll and another save for Connor Gary, the home goalkeeper, rolls the ball out towards his left back. Estefano Conceição plays the ball up the line. They've got the left back, but just too much on his pass this time. Coleraine 
Coleraine centre back in possession. Thought about going back to his goalkeeper to Gannon nip in, win the ball. Daniel McIlvaney. Korean goalkeeper just taking his time here before he right, takes his kick out. Tom Bustard has had a, a few saves to make. I'm reliably informed by his manager. He's a very good shot stopper. That's certainly been the case so far this morning. Chance for them Gannon to open the scoring. And they do. It's their number 11, Patrick. Makashe, that was a fine finish from him. And Dungannon take the lead. So Dungannon ruthless in their finish. The home side probably haven't had as much of the ball as Korean, but well, you have to give them a lot of credit. Patrick Makache nipped in, kept his composure, and fired Dungannon into the lead. This one here. That's perfect, Alfie. Korean enjoying some possession now as their number 18. Connor Wilson gives the ball out towards the right side of the pitch. Jay Small gives chase, throw in, goes away at the bandsiders. Chance for Coleraine, their number 11, Oscar Spence Talk just couldn't get the ball down here, is Spence, Spence with the ball at his feet, still has it, does Spence, finds a teammate. Korean play the ball into the area claims for a corner but the referee doesn't agree with that train of thought and the end result from all that will be a Dungannon youth goal kick so midway through this first half it's Dungannon who lead and of course at this under 13 age level they play 30 minutes per half Alfie McClay with the throw in. 
Well, he's probably taking that from three yards. He's going to take it from ten yards. Corner, feet. Corner, feet. Good. Threw it down the line. Connor. Excellent, Connor. Good Get strong play there from Connor Wilson. Gives chase. Well and Tim Gannon again, happy enough. Well done, Their Connor. number two, Luke McCurbry, just puts the ball out for a throw. Certainly been a good watch so far. Coleraine have well done, probably Connor. enjoyed most of the possession. Here they go, oh. ball. Jay, go the back, That's played bro. in. Great well done, play Connor. from Connor Ref. Wilson. Ref. Ref. But it just comes to Ref. nothing this time. Jay. Over him, we got him, wasn't it? One more in. Look at him, he's in there. Nice play this from Dungannon in the heart of midfield. Bradlin. Sorry, Brayton. Back in alley, played it long, but I think the offside flag had went up and the offside flag did go up, so Coleraine. Up, up on there, don't tell us after. Come on, Keep on take the free kick as they try and build something down that right side of the pitch. Keelan Walker, Keelan Walker. Good skill this from Walker, finds a teammate. Just to say, say that, the Gannon play it forward. Alpine, you want it? Carter, Carter! Go! Think about the line, think about the line, yeah. Come across. Good Oscar, that'll be your Oscar. Thank you. Gannon with the free kick and they play it long. Potter will just run towards the push up. Cool rain goalkeeper, Tom Buster. Oh I get across! Tag Feeney gives it out towards the right side, ball into the area, and the overhead free, the overhead kick just wide of that right post, but that piece of play, a great example of what Dungannon are capable of, that was a fine move from the right wing, this time the shot just going wide of the right post. Cross comes into the area. Seconds! Good play from Coleraine's number seven, Ronan Moffat. Does well to give the ball out towards the right side of the pitch from the centre midfielder. Lovely step over from Oscar Spence. Crosses the ball into the area, but the Gannon deal with it. Carter, Carter, drop. The Gannon with a free kick. Josh Walker, their captain, looks full of energy, looks a very lively player. 
Great forced into some defending. What's on? Bravo! Oscar! Oscar, can I see him? Take Oscar, man off. Go away. Relax. That was nearly a lovely ball forward from a Korean point of view. Dungannon have been forced to do plenty of defending in this first half. Thomas Kelly plays it up the line for the home side. Dungannon, the side in yellow and blue. Referee has a look at her watch. Half time not too far away. It's been a very clean game so far. Game played in the right spirits. Of course, we've just seen the one goal. That goal coming from Dungannon's number 11, Patrick Lacache. Done well inside the box. Kept his composure. Fired the ball into the left side of the net to give Dungannon the lead midway through this first half. Korean have had plenty of the ball, though. And if you're Korean, I'm sure you could be thinking it could be level. Corner from Korean. Ball into the area. It's helped on, but simple catching practice for Connor Gary, who wants no to get his side no out. You can hear him no communicating Go with his teammates. Praise for Koreans number eight there, Luca Kearney. Of course, if you're an Irish League fan watching this, Luca Kearney, son of Korean manager Oren Kearney. What a job Oren Kearney's done at Korean over the recent years. And of course, a son, Luca, playing for this under 13 side. Here's Josh Walker. Josh Walker makes a simple pass towards the near touch line. Here is Walker with the ball at his feet, considers his options. Goes past one, goes past two, makes a pass backwards. Dungan and try and build down the left side. So there we hear the referee's whistle. Referee throws her whistle and at half time from Dungannon. We've just seen the single goal, but at half time it's Dungannon one. Korean nil and commentary will resume at the start of the second half. Mm. Mmm. 
Hello and welcome back to Dungannon for the start of this second half in this NIBFA Under-13 fixture between Dungannon and Coleraine. If you're just joining us, you missed a very entertaining first half. It's Dungannon who currently have a 1-0 lead as they come forward. Josh Walker plays it forward towards Dylan McKeown. Dylan McKeown with the shot. And Dylan McKeown has scored. Dungannon now two ahead. 
And that's a dream start to the second half for Dungannon. Hands up, lads. Hands up. So Dungannon's number nine, Dylan McHugh with a simple enough finish inside the box on his side. Looking in a good position now. All the onus now is on Corian to see what they can do. Big chances. And a good save, but that was a massive opportunity for Corian. I think the chance fell to their number 11, Oscar Spence. But great save from the home goalkeeper to give him credit. Game is well set up now. Goal kick is taken in. There's good distance on it. That's almost out to its intended target goal. Corian goalkeeper. Clears his lines. Tom Bustard rolls the ball out towards the left back. Cannon scoring their second goal just at the start of this second half to double the lead. Could be a long way back for Colerain. You'd imagine if Colerain are to get back in this game, you'd have to think that it would be them that would have to score the next goal in this match. But credit to the home side, Dungannon. They've been absolutely ruthless in their finishing in this game so far. Brandon McNally, McNally on the ball down the right wing. Brilliant, Carter, well done. Well done, Carter. <laughs> Throw in taken. Chance for Coley into clear the lines but credit to Tim Cannon they are pressing of course they have the 2-0 lead comes in towards the front post area but credit to the goalkeeper he was alert he was lively and he collected the ball Defence deals with it. George McLean was alert. Well done, George. Well done, Luca. 
Good look at. Look at Kearney in What's possession. Goes at? back towards his goalkeeper. Does the sensible Come thing on, there, get Kearney. There, get there, Connor. Oren, why are we standing off, Oren? You're there, Connor. You're in, Kenan. Get out! Get out! Well done, George. Well done. 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 Well Colleen are certainly back in the game. Oscar Spence doing ever so well. And Colleen have got themselves on the score sheet. So Tim Gannon will take kick off again. Just a single goal between these sides. No points. It's been a good response from Colerain. Right. And they mentioned roughly about five minutes ago, just as I say that. Well done, a shot for them down in there. Number 11, Patrick McAshay, was showing his strength inside the area. Carter but I was Westwood. mentioning roughly about five minutes ago about the next goal of the game I being ever so Hellen important. On. And Colerain have managed to get themselves in the All score right. sheet. They have half the deficit. Gannon with the throw. So a long throw in for the Gannon. Tag Feeney is battling. Ball comes in towards the near post area. And Coleraine's goalkeeper, Tom Buster, did well. Snuffed out any danger at the near post. Strong Thomas Kelly takes the throw in for Dungannon. Cole Rain managed to half clear it. As both sets of players just struggle to get the ball to ground, just as I say that the ball is on the is on the ground. Will there be a shot at the end of it? Shot does come in, decent strike, but another good save. Watching the stream, you're very welcome. George, George, Score George, was George, one nil at the break. It was Dungannon who led. Dungannon then scored just after the half-time whistle, and Coleraine have pulled a goal back. 
both these sides, as I've already mentioned, flying high in this under-13 league. Both teams have won their five games so far, so everything on paper suggested the game may be tight. And so far in Dungannon this morning, that has certainly been the case. And Coleraine have won a, a corner kick far side of the pitch. Good opportunity for them to get plenty of red shirts inside the area. Look at Kearney, places the ball in the quadrant. Kearney will take this corner kick. Kearney does take it, ball into the area. Colleen still have it, Kearney with the ball at his feet again. Lofts it into the area, that's a good ball. And the header. Just wide, I think the header went wide from Keelan Walker. And you could see the frustration on him there once he headed the ball wide. But what a game we have in prospect. A tight and even game. So the wayside really enjoying plenty of possession. And the gun in half at this stage of the game. So many corners and set plays from that area. Flick on was one, but it results in a save for Connor Gary. Connor Gary takes his kick out. George, let's meet it first time. Dungannon with our counter attack. And the ball has ended up in the net. I think it's our number 11 again, Patrick Makache. But the ball has ended up in the Coleraine net. And Dungannon have now extended their lead. One thing I'll say about Dungannon in this game, when a chance has came to them, they have been absolutely ruthless. Their finishing has been superb. Get us up! So the scoreline now 3 1. Scoreline to Gannon Youth 3, Korean 1. Of course, this game under 13 fixture in Region 1. Work. So as things stand, Dungannon will be taking a three-point lead at the top of this division. Of course, these sides, the top two sides, but with things as they are, it would, Dungan it would be Dungannon who would have the the outright lead at the top of the table. I'll take go and make the ball. As they try and pull something down the right side of the pitch. course both these sides both have senior men's sides and both these sides have senior men's sides playing their trade in the top flight of football in Northern Ireland of course we have Dungannon Swifts and Coleraine Dungannon Swifts in action this afternoon travel to Glenavon as for Coleraine they entertain Limfield so 
your player at any of these clubs and of course at this age it must be a massive incentive being involved with the sides knowing that maybe someday these players could go on and represent those teams Get him. Go on, Jay, Head forward. Oh, Good header forward, but Coleraine's number 11, on, Oscar Spence. He's pacey, but he was just wasn't going to get, get on the end of that one. Here come Coleraine again through their number six, Jay Small. Jay Small on the ball. Small crosses in towards the front post. Header comes in, but it's a bit of a team effort. Simple save for Connor Gary. Claims for a free kick there. Referee not interested. Play continues. Good hold up play from Dungannon's number 12. Tag Feeney. Here is Feeney. Feeney driving forwards. Alfie Jones. Can he cross? Good defending from Colian and Luca Kearney. Kearney emerges with the ball. So just to break and play here as Corian are about to have a free kick. Sun is shining in Dungannon, the town of Dungannon in County Tyrone. Of course it's the home side who lead by three goals to one. Free kick is taken down the line. And Gannon defend it well though as they try and set up a counter attack. Coreans number two. Carter McGuire. PC player was back as he just let the ball run out of play. Chance for a shot. The effort goes in, a decent Noah, strike Noah, there Noah. from Tag Feeney. Noah, <laughs> 
first row then. Good play from Estefano Conte Sal plays the ball into the area. And Dungan with the effort this time. The, the shot goes over the crossbar, but you have to give credit to Dungannon's number three there. Estefano Conte Sal bombing down the left wing. from Oscar Spence. Spence still has the ball. Shouts for offside and the referee agrees with that train of thought. The Ganner are edging closer and closer to picking up another win. Gannon were to hold on here it would be six wins out of six in the league that is a, a fine achievement here comes to Gannon again was there a shirt pull there the player wanted the free kick the referee well she didn't agree though as play continues, Dungannon coming forward yet again. Conce Sao shows good strength. Here is Conce Sao, plays the ball Come into on, the on. area. Get out! Cross comes into the box, goalkeeper. Is off his line, but credit to the Coleraine stopper there. Of course, he's naturally eager to get on with things as he rolls the ball out towards the left side of the pitch. Kearney, Kearney plays it forward. Commander Ronan. So roughly five minutes or so left in this game. And Coleraine have another free kick from a, a decent enough position. Kearney, Kearney takes a free kick, plays the ball in towards the front post area. Strike comes in. Never the shot is over the crossbar on this occasion. It was George McLean with the effort. Fine there, an easy decision for the match referee this morning. Nice play this from Dungallon. Captain Josh Washer, Walker I should say, plays the ball into the box. And a long range strike and Dungannon have extended their lead. The goalkeeper there, he was at full stretch. He couldn't get near it, but Dungannon flying high. So it's turning out to be somewhat of a comprehensive victory here for Dungannon Youth. Four goals this morning, a team full of goals 
And it looks as if they are almost certainly going to win this game. Dungana come forward yet again. Ball played over the top, but they will just run all the way towards the Korean goalkeeper. Comes into the area. Was alert. Throw in for Colleen. Here's George McLean. McLean plays it forward. Chance to cross. Corey will win a corner, their number six. Jay Small places the corner in the quadrant. Jay Small takes a set piece. Forces a save from Connor Gary, who gets down well. Cut down low to make the save. So five goals this morning. Dungana currently leading by four goals to one. It's been a great morning from them, but I'm sure Coleraine can take plenty of positives from this display as well. Of course, these are the top two teams in this region. Both these teams had won five games out of five before the ball was kicked this morning. and try and build something. Rolling Moffat tried to switch play out towards the left side. He did so. George McLean does well. Just as they say, that runs into trouble over the Duncan in midfield. McLean wins the ball back. McLean gets it out towards the left. Throw in for Korean, and they have to settle for another one. Keep working, lads. Be tight. No, do you want that? Long range strike comes in from George McLean. You could see what he was trying to do. However, his effort just going wide of that right post. Well done, George. Yeah, well done, do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Oh, Jay, do it. George, you don't need all them touches. First time. Jay, that's a free header. Here's Tag Feeney for Dungannon. Pour in, win the ball. Help him! Keenan Walker 
Walker still battles for it. And then just as they say that, he loses it. So goal rain with a free kick. Is there a chance for them to get a, a consolation goal? Paul played forward. The Gannon deal with it. Good covering play from Cole Rains, number five, Noah Corkish. Out in front of us. George McLean with a throw in for Coleraine. Finds a teammate. McLean back with the ball. Crosses the ball into the area. Then Gannon defence deals with it. And there we have the referee's full time whistle. It's been a great game this morning at this under 13 age group. Dungannon have put on a display of ruthless finishing as both sets of players shake hands after the game this morning. The game was played in a great spirit. Didn't seem to be any dirty challenges and just a, overall a great game to watch. But Dungannon have picked up all three points this morning in Dungannon at this under 13 age group. The final score finishes Dungannon Youth 4 Korean 1 so all's left to say from myself is thanks very much for watching we hope you've enjoyed the coverage and we'll see you next time